there are two aspects of AI which uh, really we are pursuing right now as humanity. Image and language, what we call as computer vision and natural language understanding. For the last seven, eight years, what we've seen, the image net part really coming to a stage where we're solving many, many problems. We're solving problems in healthcare, we're solving problems in securing citizens, we are solving problems in industrial inspection. We are also predicting what are the failures, etc., that can happen, and it's matured quite a bit. What we're going to see in next four or five years is a lot of progression that's happening on natural language understanding. Each time that you will give a search in future, rather than giving you bodies of input, saying these are the URLs that you can do it, it can even summarize the inputs from those URLs and present to you. The second thing that we're going to see happening is the neural networks will be infused with physics, which would basically mean that large sets of simulations that used to happen, we can have more intelligence induced based on the ground truths which have already been done. We're working on autonomous cars where our whole objective is how do we safeguard the human which is in an autonomous car. Understanding right from the bare metal all the way to the safety of the human being, what does it take to be there? For which, firstly, we had to attract the right kinds of researchers, people who will be inspired to come to NVIDIA and work. Second thing we had to do for them was to give them a world-class infrastructure there is a mishap that was to take place, we should be able to walk back and see at which, uh, which workflow the issue happened and which part of the pipeline the issue happened and what do we really need to do. The second is healthcare. Again, healthcare because predominantly NVIDIA has been known for 3D reconstruction because of our heritage in computer graphics. We are helping healthcare companies to basically now understand that way to identify malfunctioning cells, whether they come from a CR machine, a, a scanning machine, or ultra scan machine, or a PET machine. How do you, a radiologist, understand that what the machine is able to tell you as an identification of an issue, plus human being in the loop to find out what needs to be done? look at for more than NVIDIA into the context of India, natural language is going to be a phenomenal part. We are a country of many languages um, and a lot of people believe we speak English but English then gets restricted to only about 100 at max to 150 million people and internet cannot be leveraged by rest of them. If we can really get the language conversation on, it's going to benefit our country tremendously and of course in addition to the language places, there are three predominant areas which government has identified, namely agriculture, where 50% of the population contributes 18% of the GDP. How can we help the world of agriculture through AI? I think that's a big story there. Healthcare, especially as you walk down to tier two, tier three, to rural areas, the number of doctors to patients is quite dismal and how can we bring knowledge of information there. And the third area, of course, what the government is talking is about education in a country where an average class fifth student can't still solve a class one maths. We require a lot of personalization. So having data is one part. Knowing where your data is what is the process of the data? How do you bring data together? How do you join the data? How do you create the data? How do you create a data frame? How do you basically apply it to different machine learning frameworks? How do you basically validate it? How do you simulate that? How do you experiment on that? And how do you introduce that? That's the greater value proposition that NVIDIA and NetApp are able to bring together on a reference architecture which has been tested, tried, and continues to evolve.